Hi guys, so I've been getting a couple questions on how I upload my Pencil 2D animations, so I just decided that I would show you how I do mine. Here I have a simple animation with a sunny day background, just a bouncing ball, like that. So yeah, so let's say you have your animation, you finished it, you're happy with how it looks, and you want to export it. So you're going to want to go to File, Export, and instead of doing a movie, you want to do an image sequence, which is what I do. Um, I'm going to name it Ball Bounce, put it into whatever folder you want, click Save, and then here you'll choose some options for it, like what kind of format. You could do a PNG, JPEG, TIF, PMP. I usually just keep it at PNG. And then Resolution helps you fit it to whatever screen. Uh, you're going to have to search up what the resolution for YouTube videos is. I don't remember, but I'll just leave it how it is here. Click OK. Then you're able to exit out. And then if you open up your folder, you're going to see that every single frame in your animation is going to be here. And now, of course, it's only one picture at a time. So it's like a super fast, fast slideshow. And you're going to want them all to play at once really quickly. So if you're on an Apple device, you can use Movie Maker. But I like to use... Oh, I mean, you'll use iMovie, but I use Movie Maker. Because it's what's on Windows. So anyways, once you're here, you select it all. And you want to grab by the first one, just saying when you move it over. But you want to move it over into Movie Maker. So then you're going to have every single frame in Movie Maker. However, Movie Maker's default thing for each picture, the default duration is 7 seconds. So you're going to want to change that to like 0 0.08 or whatever you want. If you want to get really technical, you can just do some math and figure out what number for each frame rate. But yeah. Anyways, it's so going with this. Now if you play it, you're going to see it's like how it is in pencil but now it's moved to movie maker so basically pencil 2d it's kind of weird you know you can't add sound even though there's a sound feature and everything so what i do is i just do all the drawings in pencil 2d and then once i finish with that i bring it to movie maker where you can add music record narration and yeah you can all do all that so Let's say you added some music and maybe a sound effect for every time the ball hits the ground or however your animation works. You can just hit save movie. You're able to name it whatever you want. Just name it uh, ball bounce. Just name it that. Save into whatever folder you want. Then it's going to save it. Then after it does that, you just have to wait for a second, and it'll give you this option. You can play it, but I already know it's going to be okay. So you're going to have it, if you open it in your folder, you're going to have it right here. And then from here, you could drag it onto the upload in YouTube, or do whatever you want with it. But this is like the compressed movie. You could see if you play it, there's your animation. And if you added sound, then sound would be in it but I'm too lazy to add sound for this. But when you do it, you could just add sound. And anyways, yep, that's how you do it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And if this video helped you, let me know. And yeah, bye.